10 Haunted Lighthouses Looking for the best and scariest lighthouses across America? Then look no further. Check out the top 10 haunted lighthouses around the United States. If you live near the beach with a lighthouse close by, there's no doubt your friends, at some point, dared you to go in and see if old Joe Bush's ghost was going to get you. While in the day, lighthouses can be extremely beautiful, during the night they can be downright scary. If you're a thrill-seeking ghostbuster, we've got a list perfect for you. From the East Coast to the West Coast, the United States of America has plenty to offer when it comes to a good scare. Check out these interesting, and spooky, haunted lighthouses. Owl's Head Light, Owl's Head, Maine. Owl's Head, Maine, is a quiet little community on an outcropping of land surrounded by the Penobscot Bay, close to Rockland. Throughout the day, the lighthouse on the hill seems to be a nice height as well as a beautiful sight to see when not expecting it. Some claim that at least two spirits roam its small confines. Footprints in the snow or mud have been found mysteriously by locals when no one had been up there previously. According to those living nearby, they believe it's the ghost of a dedicated groundskeeper that took care of the lighthouse in years past. Point Lookout Light, Scotland, Maryland. Now, this is an interesting looking lighthouse, you don't see many like this. Or at least we haven't. Beginning as one of the three manors owned by Leonard Calvert, the first governor of the Maryland colony, the lookout has a square home building attached to it, not taking the typical cylindrical shape of the stereotypical lighthouse. Given the building's long history of deaths during the Civil War, the first ghost sighting occurred in 1977. Someone had seen and talked to an elderly woman who was looking for graves that used to be right where they had been standing at the time. If that's not creepy enough, the witness turned around, and she was gone. Sol Schwa Light, Schoolcraft County, Michigan. According to the local radio station, Sol Schwa Lighthouse was first built in the 1800s as a refuge for soldiers. Of course, during that time, before the early 1900s, there were quite a few deaths. In fact, around 500 of them are estimated to have happened near the property. Around 1902, the groundskeeper, Joseph Townsend, and his wife lived upstairs, taking care of the place. Unfortunately, Townsend passed away in the middle of the winter, which meant his body couldn't be buried. As a result, he was stored in the basement until the spring, when the ground thawed. Some say his haunting is caused by improper care of his body. Point Sewer Lighthouse, San Diego, California. Despite having a bright light to guide the way for ships, Point Sewer Lighthouse has unfortunately been the destination of a fair share of shipwrecks and crashes. Of course, with every shipwreck and every spooky story, there are bound to be ghosts. A number of them seem to take up residence near the destination, all for their own reasons. One spirit that has been commonly seen is a man in 19th century garb in royal blue. Since the house is in a historical park, you can sign up for tours. Those who are daring go for it in the evenings. Big Bay Point Lighthouse, Big Bay, Michigan. It's really cool what people can do with an old lighthouse if they really put thought and effort into the creative process. This, unlike most of the buildings on this list, has been turned into a ban. After taking around 15 years to build after seeing its fair share of shipwrecks, the embankment was finally lit up by the 60-foot-tall lighthouse. Now, you can stay in what has been dubbed the most haunted band in America. Legend says the tortured souls from those wrecks wreak havoc in the halls from time to time. Street Simons Lighthouse, Street Simons Island, Georgia. Like many on this list, the breathtaking lighthouse located in Georgia has seen a lot of change as the world around it continues with the ebb and flow of daily life. Having hosted a number of weddings, the house is known for its beauty. However, it's also known as the home of the ghost of Street Simons Island. Constructed in the late 1800s, the groundskeeper was shot by his assistant after an argument ensued inside the nearby groundskeeping house, where his assistant's family lived with him. Even though the lighthouse has since been rebuilt, his ghost is said to walk the halls to this very day, taking care of his lighthouse from beyond the grave. 
Seguin Island Lighthouse, Bath, Maine. Seguin Island is a small island off the coast of mainland Maine, with the only buildings on the 64-acre piece of land being the second oldest lighthouse and the attached groundskeeper's house. It's said that the ghost of a bloodthirsty axe murderer still resides on the island, which is about as spooky as it gets. Originally built in the late 1800s, the lighthouse warns coming sailors of the small island, as wrecks have occurred on its shores before. After a kind gesture by one of the first lighthouse keepers to his wife, she began playing the piano, playing the same tune every day for months. That's when he, unfortunately, took an axe to her after going insane due to the same monotonous tune she played. Street Augustine Lighthouse, Street Augustine, Florida. Like a number of houses on this list, the lighthouse at Street Augustine, Florida, has been visited by many paranormal investigators, some of whom have reportedly heard disembodied voices and unexplained noises during their investigations. What most people think of when they see the lighthouse is the tragic death of the child of the superintendent working on the house's construction back in the 1870s. What many people don't know is that there was another child involved who drowned the same day. The child's name was never released, Block Island Southeast Lighthouse, Block Island, Rhode Island. Block Island is a breeding ground for wrecked ships, as many sailors are asked to take a wide perimeter around it due to the jagged rocks and shallow parts that have claimed many vessels. The six-mile-long island has been previously called a stumbling block as a result. Located on the Mohegan Bluffs, the lighthouse stands on the grounds of an Indian battle where the inhabitants of the island were driven over the edge of the island, crashing over 160 feet to their death on the sharp rocks below. Saginaw Rear Range River Lighthouse, Bay City, Michigan. While nothing can ever be said to be completely true, the legend goes that the very first housekeeper's wife, Julia, killed her husband and remarried, with her new husband becoming assistant groundskeeper and Julia stepping up as lead keeper. When the position was overturned and her husband was renamed head groundskeeper, she left the house, which she had been living in for 17 years. Of course, before she left, her current husband had died. Julia is thought to be a black widow, killing her husband for the sake of the lighthouse. 